good. I think that's probably enough small baits. What is it, Benita? Benitas, yep. You can see them all cutting through the water. It's bigger than I thought. Triple. We were thinking we drifted off the spot a little Bleeding bit. Bleeding all over you. But uh, apparently we didn't. <laughs> that was first drop. Nice and that was on the dead bait. Well, one drop, three keepers. The red snapper, a little bigger. I got a red snapper. Swallowed it. The whole blurs. <laughs> Randy, you got one on the other rod. <laughs> Alright, Mom had a big hit here. I got pulled in the water for a minute. They're on a season. Oh, yeah. Yep. Hold them up for a quick picture, though. Yep. Yeah, just let him hold it, though, because we got to bend them and get them back. Okay. There he goes. Yeah, keep down. Yeah. We don't catch too many of these guys out here. We're a little bit far north. Oh, hold on. <laughs> yeah. Keep reeling. Yeah, I hooked one. There's blood all over the camera. Oh well, but cool fish. I think it's a shark. 
Yeah, it's got to be. I guarantee you it's a bull. the anchor of yeah. that's their favorite spot. When uh, any larger fish hits the anchor line. You got it low? Yeah, live grouper. Yeah, he'll stop. And he starts again. Tell us about your rig while you're fighting him there, Randy. Well, I got this set up here. Is that accurate? Yeah, accurate twin drag. Is that 600 or? 600 twin drag. Yeah. The reel's got a ton of drag, but still, I'm fighting them at like 15 Half of maybe. the preset. Yeah, half of the preset. A lot of drag's important, but you can get out of those four break lines if you fish too much. Probably going on about 10 minutes, man. This arm stays straight. This board on the... I'm actually good right now, just set it down. 